The Icelandic Meteorological Office said that no visible eruptive activity at the volcano's vent was a major change from Monday, when the eruption began with considerable force and speed, with hundreds of cubic meters of lava spewing on each ground, seconds within minutes after the eruption begins. But while the volcano's rift appeared to have reached a calmer state as the weekend began, this does not mean that the rift is over, said Eric Clemetti, a volcanologist at Denison University. This means that this first magma slug has finished erupting, or whatever pressure has built up has now been released to the point that the magma can no longer rise to the surface, he explained. The Icelandic Meteorological Office updated its guidance on Friday with a stern warning. The possibility of an eruption increases by the day, although the amount of lava covering the land near Grindavik, an evacuated town in southern Iceland, was stunning to see. The eruption did not produce as much molten rock or ash as other recent large eruptions, Clemetti said. Meanwhile, villagers were evacuated last month due to fears of an eruption after the region experienced a series of earthquakes over weeks. This town of less than 4,000 people is located near Iceland's main airport. They were told they could return to the area on Saturday and spend the night. The Icelandic Meteorological Office said on Friday evening that although activity in the area had stopped, conditions were still quite dangerous. The office also explained that weather can affect monitoring. We emphasize that conditions can change rapidly, and weather conditions can significantly impact the sensitivity of our monitoring network, officials said. In the last 24 hours, nearly 90 earthquakes were recorded in the Grindavik, Sunnuxgigar and Svartsenji regions but they occurred on a lower scale. Widely known as the Svartsenji volcanoes, it has been dormant for around 780 years. This latest event marks the most powerful eruption in recent years. Scientists said the lava flow spread over an area of about 1.4 square miles on the Rake Chains Peninsula about 31 miles southwest of Reykjavik. Pressure that had built up over centuries has now been relieved by the tearing of the Earth's crust, said geophysicist Tim Egedmanson at the University of Iceland. We had an event where the magma reached the surface and we had a very fast and powerful, short-lived eruption and lava was formed. Video footage taken by local media showed a thick plume of smoke above the lava that was spewing from the fissure. 